Getting your hands on a tier 2 insect hammer as soon as possible in Grounded is an important step towards being able to gather all the collectibles you come across while adventuring through the game. In order to craft this tier 2 tool, you'll need 4 stink bug parts, 4 berry leather, and 1 boiling gland. Stink bug parts come from, you guessed it, stink bugs. You can craft berry leather using berry chunks at a workbench or by using a jerky rack. And boiling glands are a random drop that you get from defeated bombardier beetles, so you might need to bash a few of them before you find one. Once you have the tier 2 insect hammer in your possession, you'll be able to start collecting the stat boosting milk molar collectibles, as well as important armor and weapon upgrade resources, such as sturdy quartzite and sturdy marble, as well as the spicy, minty, and salty shards that you'll need to craft globs for future weapon upgrades. Which is why I recommend crafting one of these hammers as soon as possible during your playthrough so that you'll be able to grab all of the collectibles you come across during your continuing crusade to gather Burgle super chips and prevent yourself from having to do a bunch of backtracking later in the game. If you're having trouble finding some of the necessary resources or are just interested in learning some additional grounded tidbits of knowledge, then the rest of this video will probably help you out. Because if you're a fan of grounded themed, grounded related content presented in tutorial format, then you've come to the right channel because that's basically all that I do here. And if that interests you, then defeat the like button with a simple melee attack. And I hope that this video earns your subscription today. What up? It's Tiny Pirate Gaming, here with another Grounded tutorial that's going to cover in rich detail everything you need to know about obtaining a Tier 2 Insect Hammer in Grounded. Obviously the Tier 3 Hammer is superior to this one, but you'll get that once you venture into the Upper Yard. Having a Tier 2 Hammer during your adventure in the Lower Yard is vital to gathering milk molars and sturdy upgrade resources that you'll definitely want to use to boost your stats and enhance your gear before venturing into the significantly more dangerous regions of the Upper Yard. As I mentioned before, you're going to need stink bug parts, berry leather, and a boiling gland to craft this hammer. Berry leather is probably the easiest of these resources to acquire since all it takes is gathering some berry chunks from the hedge and then using either a workbench or a jerky rack to convert the chunks into berry leather. Using a jerky rack will maximize your leather production as it converts the berry chunks on a 1 to 1 ratio, whereas using the workbench will require the use of 3 chunks to make a single berry leather. You'll need bombardier parts and crude rope to craft a jerky rack, and since you'll also need a boiling gland to craft the insect hammer, you may as well bash a few bombardier beetles to gather what you need. Bombardier beetles can be a difficult opponent to beat at first due to their acid blob attacks, which not only stun and damage you on contact, but also temporarily stain the floor with health draining goo that you'll definitely want to avoid. They also have a spread shot attack that's difficult to avoid and can only be blocked by using a shield, so watch out for that. The best way to bash these bugs is to try and circle around behind them to avoid their acid attacks as best as possible, and to use a chopping damage weapon like an axe on their rumps to inflict as much damage as possible. There's a few locations in the lower yard where you can farm the Bombo Beetles relatively easy. By the Franken line on the west side of the pond, you can usually find two Bombos roaming around the toadstools. There are two more of them near the Squirt's milk carton around the southeast side of the pond and close to the hidden lab where the pinch whacker can be found. There's a lone Bombo that hangs out in the area formerly known as Spade Gulch that's located along the edge of the yard's eastern flooded region between the grasslands and the hedge. And under the east corner of the house's porch you can find a trio of Bombos usually patrolling atop some rocks near the western corner of the hedge.
The stink bug parts are probably the most difficult of these resources to gather primarily due to the fact that you'll need a gas mask to safely combat the stink bugs due to their devastating gas attacks. In order to craft a gas mask, you'll need one weevil nose, four gnat fuzzes, two crude ropeses, and one stink bug part. I recommend using the web sack technique to acquire your first stink bug part and build your first gas mask because as I just mentioned, stink bugs can be very difficult to defeat without one. Once you have a gas mask, however, you'll be able to combat stink bugs without having to worry about their life-draining gas attacks depleting your HP. The gas will, however, deplete the durability of your gas mask, so I recommend trying to keep out of the gas as much as possible. Once you're ready to start your stink bug harvest, there's a few places in the lower yard that you can find them fast and easy. The best spot for maximizing your harvest is located in the clearing area between the haze region and the red anthill, where you can find five stink bugs, usually lounging around a cluster of dry grass and dandelions. If you go to this spot, I suggest using an arrow to lure one away from the group at a time to avoid being swarmed and surrounded by their overwhelming numbers. There's also another large gathering of stinkies on the north side of the pond, close to the Franken line, but be aware that this cluster of stink bugs will become overrun by infected creatures if you turn off the weed killer spray bottle in the haze. If you'd rather only fight one, then you can find a single stink bug on the east side of the oak tree around some roots and dry grass. And a final cluster can be easily found guarding a field station that's further east from the oak tree, sorta of close to the yard's eastern flooded region. Once you have all the necessary resources, you'll be able to craft the Tier 2 Insect Hammer, a vital step towards leveling up your stats and gear to get yourself ready for the challenges that await you in the upper yard. Not only does the Insect Hammer allow you to collect Milk Molars, Quartzite, Marble, and the spicy, minty, and salty candy shards needed to level up, but it also serves as a decent weapon against creatures that are weak to busting damage types like ladybugs and ladybirds, but to be honest, the hammer's attack speed usually means most any other weapons will also put in the same amount of damage in the same amount of time, so I rarely use it myself in combat. Anyway, that's the end of the tutorial, and if you enjoyed it, then don't forget to like and subscribe! You can also follow me on Twitch for live streams, Twitter for channel news, and join the Tiny Pirate Gaming Discord for discussions on grounded gaming content creation and more, along with me and the rest of the hashtag Tiny Crew. So whether I see you here in the comments, over on the Twitch sphere, or someplace else across the streamiverse, just know that I really appreciate all of your support and thank you so much for watching. Until next time. Alright, matey, watch your step. There be a tiny pirate here.